All right, we're going to go through um, another demonstration here of the new form. As you can see, it, it looks pretty much the same at the top. Um, we still have an invoice that you, you come up with your own number, dates the same. Um, this Carlton auto image or glass shields box, you can still select uh, whichever one you want. There are a few changes though, uh, such as the please remit payments too, like we talked about. Um, we added that. Um, you'll notice there's not as many um, boxes to select. Uh, you said you needed probably a max of seven, so we put in seven um, items to add. Uh, we'll select, uh, if you select one, um, we'll scroll down and be able to see here uh, it's going to calculate on the very first one, just like before. If you select two, same thing as before, you're going to go down, it's not going to calculate there, it's actually going to calculate um, on the second page. Same thing all the way to seven. And you actually swipe over to the left and right. But uh, let's just worry about one for right now and kind of go through the different changes. We also added a um, uh, thank you for your, oh, oh, hold on. Don't look at that yet. All right, we, we also added a thank you for your business at the bottom like uh, you suggested. And um, a comments box over here. We also added with the 50% down balance due upon completion. You can actually change this text to whatever you want. It is a typable field. If you'll notice here, you can delete that and put every, whatever you want in the comments box. Um, we also changed up the vehicle year make model. We actually added that and changed up the insert image or enter vehicle VIN because you, you may want to just enter in the VIN instead of taking a picture. So you can actually, that is uh, editable text now. Now you can still take a picture of the barcode or the VIN and enter it in, of course. Just don't touch directly on it. Um, you're going to actually touch somewhere in the blank area. Hit image, photo library, just like you would before, and select your image that you already took and edited. You're going to insert it just like before. You're going to insert an image of the vehicle just like before. Um, you can actually click in that box. If it's not highlighted, that means it's not an editable text field. All right, uh, you're going to fill out the customer name just like before, the address. I didn't add any of the companies yet because you didn't send me a list yet, but once you send me that list of companies that you want to pre-fill in, um, I'll add that up for you. Uh, still select your products and services like you did before, the manufacturer, brand name. You can insert a manufacturer product identification number here, or you can, uh, that is editable text, or you can insert an image. Now, I didn't edit this uh, picture or anything. Of course, you'd want to kind of take one that fit in the box better, but uh, just an example of... Uh, product barcode there you could you could insert. Now this is also different you can either select regular platinum or CXT. I kinda broke things up to give you a few more options. Um, if you listed out every single product uh, variation that you could have the form would be huge. So I broke it up to where you can select multiple things. So you can select regular platinum or CXT this is where it gets pretty different too. Um, your tent strip options. The T column is obviously for tent. The S column is for stripping. You can select both. If you're going to both strip and tent uh, the front two doors, you'd check both. 
If you're just going to strip them, you just select that. If you're going to just tint them, you would just select that. You can check or uncheck as many of these as you want to. If you're going to do the back three windows, then do rear two doors and rear glass maybe. Okay, there's also a custom section down here at the bottom. This is definitely for like when you do your buildings and stuff. Um, we can adjust this if we need to, but you know, if you're going to do two building windows um, with your safety stuff or, or whatever, you can enter it in here. Each one of these spots has a tent percent option. Um, if you want 35% on the front two doors, and 30% on the rear two doors and 5% on the back glass. You can do it right there. Um, you put in the price for each one and it will total it, up, total it up all at the end. Okay, we only selected one, so there's your total due, and uh, you could uh, save a copy and email this. You all, don't forget, you can also put a discount on each one, too, if you want to. Say you get a discount on every three cars you bring in. Well, you don't want to put the discount. You want to show which one got the discount or whatnot, so you can put the discount on whichever one you want. All right, if you select two, Notice there's no total at the bottom, but there's still a subtotal and your discount. You'll swipe over and there's your total due at the bottom. Okay, and it's going to add whatever you add over here as well. Thank you for your business, of course. So that and the comments, the total due, the comments box, and the thank you for your business only shows up on the very last one, depending on which, which number of items you decided to invoice for. You select three, boom, it shows up on the third one, and now it's not on the second one. Also, you have the option for regular platinum and CXT on each one as well. And don't forget, as soon as you get me the names of the companies, you want, you want to be able to select and pre-fill. Um, just holler at me and we'll get those in here. Now, I have a few options here. You can obviously send by email, you can clear the form, you would just click yes and it would clear your form. Sometimes that doesn't clear your pictures, I just touch them and delete them. Um, obviously you can save a copy, just make sure you change the name, because you're going to change this to a flattened version, so you want to change the name. And then, of course, you're going to hit Flatten Document. You might put the date in there because these people might end up having multiple, especially if you're talking about car dealerships and stuff. Here, it, it won't let me put the slash. Let me change that real quick. Change the date form here. Okay, now select Flattened Copy discard all the changes from the original file always. You want to keep this original file blank. So all you have to do to create another invoice is open up this original file. Alright, and here you go. Here's your flattened version. Nobody can edit this now. Now if you want to save a copy for yourself that you can go back and edit, you can, you can also save a copy as the original document as well. So you'd have your original document 
and a flattened copy. Just make sure you label them and you don't accidentally send them the original document. Because like I said, they'll be able to edit it. Put it in your sent invoices. Open up your original form. Oops, hold on, I saved it with this earlier. That's my typo. Yours won't do that. Let me just get this deleted here. Okay, and here you got your original form. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, there you go. And now you got your original form and you start a new invoice. Fill it out like you did before. Save a copy, flattened. There you go. And here is your sent invoice. Now let's go over how to email it. This is your flattened copy. Double check that it's your flattened. Send by email, flattened copy again. Type in their email address. You can also type in a message, change, you know, just like you would a regular email. You can change the subject and all that kind of good stuff. And hit send. Now this is what they get. Open it. They're gonna they may not have PDF expert, but they'll still be able to open it if they have any kind of PDF reader on their computer or iPad. And that's what that there's their copy of it looks like and they can print it or whatever right there. Okay, here's how you print. All right, you can select a range. If you know that, you know, you only selected two items, then you're only going to want the first two pages. So Change it to pages one to two, select your printer, change the number of copies, and hit print. 